Let's stretch out when you're ready. Oh, long arms, long legs. Bring the knees into your chest. Just a quick one on your back. Hug the knees in. Circle around or rock side to side. A bit of loosening in your back. Bring the feet flat, arms out in a T. Move the knees side to side a few times. Big long breaths. Try and link the long breaths with your slow moves. In through the nose, out through the nose. As long as you manage, but obviously anytime it feels good, just open those lips. Last one each way. Once you're back to center, a few shoulder bridges, I've got feet hip distance, arms by your side. Tucking tailbone, inhale, lift the hips all the way up. Exhale, bring the hips all the way onto the mat. Couple more rounds of these. I just want to switch on your hamstrings, glutes. Make sure you tug the pelvis on the top. Inhale, go up, exhale, come down in your own time. The last one, let's stay up. Keep breathing. Keep the feet flat, pubic bone higher than your belly button. Chin off your chest, spread the fingertips and let's lift both heels off the mat if it's there, but anytime you need to come back down onto the mat, please feel free. Any tension on your back, tuck your pelvis slightly harder just to make sure you're using the glutes. Take one more breath here. I'm keeping the heels up. Tucking pelvis, bringing the hips all the way onto the mat. Once your hips are flat, draw the knees into your chest. Hold onto the back of, uh, top of your knees and lift your shoulders up. Let's work on stomach muscles, switching them on, lifting shoulders high, putting your neck back into neutral. Little double chin always helps. Bring the legs into tabletop. Press the lower back into the mat. And reach the fingertips towards the back of the mat. Hopefully you've started feeling the stomach muscles. Let's start out by extending your right leg. Inhale, sorry, that's my left leg. Exhale, bring it back into tabletop. Keep checking your neck. Inhale, extend your left leg. Exhale, back to tabletop. We've got a couple more here. I'm going to do the legs together. Inhale, extend both of them, but keeping the lower back flat. Exhale, tabletop, one more time. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, bring it back to tabletop. And straight away, I'm dropping the feet onto the mat, laying all the way down. Reach the arms overhead, take a big inhale. I'm straightening the legs, sending the heels long. And as you exhale, let's roll up into standing position, lifting chin, chest, and the arms. See, see if you can press the heels into the mat and sit all the way up. Once you're there, feet hip distance, sit up nice and tall. reach the arms up just to lengthen the spine, inhale. And exhale, stretch into the hamstrings just for an exhale. And then straight away, we are working more on your hamstrings and your core muscles, hands by, uh, behind you, pointing fingertips towards the heels. And for now, I'm bending the knees, feet hip distance, going into another tabletop position, rolling short, shoulder blades together and scooping the stomach muscles, lifting your bum all the way up and hold it in the air. You might feel the stretch in your shoulders, your wrists are strengthening as well. We won't be here for too long, but make sure you scoop your pelvis so you feel your glutes and hamstrings working and there shouldn't be any tension on your lower back. Scoop your pelvis and bring it all the way onto the mat. Straighten your legs, sit up. Start with a straight spine, inhale. Scoop your pelvis and roll all the way onto the mat as you exhale. Once you're there, Reach the arms up with a big inhale just to stretch. And we are starting again, but we start from double leg stretch. I'm drawing the knees into the chest, holding onto the top of the knees. And I'm working slightly more on the hamstrings and core muscles. Inhale, I'm extending the, the legs to the front. You might want to circle your arms around, biceps by the ears. And as you exhale, tap the outsides of your ankles, bend the knees and pull the knees into your chest. Inhale, extend. If this is too much, Exhale, tap the ankles. You can always stay with extending one leg at a time and keep pointing the fingertips towards the front of the mat. This is my number three. I've got
with two more to go. Try your best to keep the shoulders high. One more time, inhale, extend. Exhale, tap. Now you have the option to extend the legs and a roll up just like before, where I'm going to extend the legs out, keeping a dish hold, pointing the fingertips towards the front of the mat. And let's see if we can sit up into a V-sit, nice and controlled onto the tailbone. Lengthen your spine just for a breath and then bring the feet onto the mat. Hands behind you, fingertips pointing towards the heels. Option one, keep the knees bent, feet flat, tabletop just like before. Or we'll straighten the legs with me, heels together, scooping pelvis, rolling shoulder blades together and going into reverse plank. Lift the tailbone first, lift all the way up and hold. If it's too much, bend the knees, feet, hip distance, but make sure the strength is coming from your hamstrings, your glutes, and yes, you will feel it in your arms as well. Scoop your pelvis, bring your bum onto the mat, and let's start from a V-sit. We are repeating it again. I'm bending the knees, I'm hanging onto the back of the knees, long spine, long neck. Scoop the pelvis, release the fingertips to the front, going into board pose. You can lift the legs off one by one, but you can always leave the fingertips on the mat. See if you can straighten the legs just for a breath. And let's go into a dish hold, a low boat pose. Scooping pelvis, touching the lumbar spine onto the mat. And then once you're there, you're ready to start again from your double leg stretch. Yay! Circle the, the arms around, inhale. Exhale, draw the knees in and tap the outsides of your ankles. At this point, your lower back is pressing into the mat. Four more times. I'm shaking in the tummy. Inhale, circle around, shoulders high. Exhale, tap the outsides of your ankles. Three more, inhale. Exhale. Last two, make a double chin so you're not tensing up in the neck. And I've got the last one coming up. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap. Let's go into your dish hold or low boat pose. I'm reaching fingertips towards the front. Find the tummy strength. And let's take the lower back off, coming into a boat pose, high boat. Oh, it's getting harder and harder. And find that position. You can bend your knees if you're ready or if you need to. Hold it for one more breath. And you've got tabletop or reverse plank. Bring the feet onto the mat. I'm bending them first, bending the knees. Extending out if you're doing that or bend the knees, hands behind you, fingertips towards the heels, open shoulders, tuck your pelvis and lift up into the re reverse plank. Hold it for five breaths, but if you need to come down beforehand, please feel free. Hold it for four, hold it for three. Keep scooping the pelvis, hold it for two, and the last one. Scoop pelvis, bring the bum onto the mat, flex the feet, reach the arms up to lengthen the spine, inhale, and let's stretch into the hamstrings, fold forward towards the thighs, grab the back of your legs or your feet, and hold it for a couple of breaths. And hopefully our hamstrings, glutes, and stomach muscles are fairly activated, or knackered. Let's go on to all fours on hands and knees. I'm bending the knees. I'm crossing one ankle over the other. If it suits your knees, otherwise push both of them over to the side. I'm rolling over the ankles and I need to scooch back. Middle of the mat, spread the fingertips under your shoulders and knees under your hips. Cat and care once you're there. It will be nice on your stomach. Inhale, look up. Stretch the stomach muscles, turn the tailbone up. Exhale, chin to chest. Tuck tailbone, stretch back muscles. A few more rounds in your own time, linking it with your breath. This is the nice spot. Take it easy, take it slow. Feel the C curves, feel the stretch. One more round in your own time. Back to neutral, pull both heels into your bum and push the feet over to your right, both of them. 
Reach the left fingertips towards the front of the mat. Bend your right arm and feel the stretch down the left side of your body. Drop the armpit towards the mat and hold that stretch. Come back to center, bring the hand back, bring the feet back to center. Pull the heels in again and push the feet over to your left. So we are changing sides. Reach the right fingertips towards the front. Bend the left arm and feel the stretch down the left side of your body. Come back to center. Circle into the wrist once you're back to center, just a few times. One way other way, little half circles to the front. Come back to center. And let's find your first downward dog. I'm reaching arms to the front, spreading fingertips, stocking toes, bum up. And let's pedal out. Bending one knee, pressing the other heel to the mat, lengthening calves, hamstrings, looking towards ankles, creating straight line between the heels of the hands and the tailbone. One more breath here. And find aesthetic stretch. Lift the right heel behind you into a three-legged dog. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, come forward into high plank and touch the right knee to your right tricep. Find a contact and I'm, I'm happy for you to hold it here. Otherwise, I'm gliding my right knee down and up towards the rest. I'm gliding it down, inhale. Exhale, pull the right knee up as high as you can. Inhale, maybe even touch the knee to the ground, but not the foot. Exhale, pull the right knee up to your armpit. Do that three more times. Inhale, tap if you can. Exhale, pull high. Inhale twice more, keep the contact. Exhale, pull up. And I'm shaking one more time. Inhale. Exhale, pull up. And push into three-legged dog. Lift the right heel high. Take a big inhale here. On your exhale, stack the hips. Open, lift the right heel high. And bend the right heel into your bum. Left arm straight, look under your right armpit. Hold the stretch. Nice relief on your tummy. Inhale, level the hips. Exhale, touch the right knee across to your left elbow this time. And straight away going into a fallen triangle. Straighten out the right leg. And we pop the bum onto the mat. You don't even need to hold it there. Pop the right heel on the bum. And turn towards your feet. So you're turning a little bit towards the back of the mat. Don't worry, it's not too complicated. Reach the arms up, take a big inhale as you exhale, fall towards the, the middle of your, um, in between your ankles and give your hamstrings and inner thighs a slight stretch just for an exhale. Sit back up and a bit more work on your uh, wrists, I'm afraid. Put the right hand back where it came from towards the front of the mat. I'm going to come into a funky, um, wild thing. I'm coming to come onto the outside of edge of your right of my right foot and the inside edge of the left, circling around, lifting the hips with straight arms. And I'm coming back down, doing the exact same on the other side. Hips on the mat. If you can, sweep around the low and close to your ankles. Put the left hand where it needs to go and do exactly the same. Come onto the outside edge of the left foot, inside edge of the right, circle the right arm around. Pop the one down and let's do one more each way. In between, if you can, sweep low. So you feel the inner thighs and hamstrings working. I'm doing the second one on my right side, but go faster if you want, go slower if you want. I'm popping the bomb down and I'm shifting over. This is my last one, number four. I'm on the left hand, circling around. Again, you're using the hamstrings, glutes, and you're working the back of your shoulders as well. One more time, sweep around. And let's find three-legged dog again. I'm putting the hands in the front of the mat. I'm lifting the hips and I'm sweeping the right heel all the way up behind me where I came from. Take a big inhale as you lift the right heel again. Exhale, bring the right knee to the nose. 
Give it a tap and step through between the thumbs. And we are releasing the tension in your wrists. Come into runner's lunge onto the fingertips. I'm keeping back leg straight for a breath, bending front knee. Drop the left knee onto the mat. I'm keeping back toes tucked on the tram line, the right heel and the left knee. Sweep the arms up into crescent moon. Anytime you feel like giving it a slight back bend, please do. Begin here, lengthen up, maybe bend back as you exhale. Half split. Sweep the arms, fingertips onto the mat. Frame the right foot or closer to your left knee. Extend the right knee. This was number one. We've got another three rounds of these. Bend the front knee. Sweep the arms up, crescent moon. Bend the right knee a little bit more if you can and start feeling the stretch in the front of your left hip as you reach up and maybe bend back. Now I'll give you a little option here. I'm not going to touch the fingertips onto the ground. I'm going into half split, straightening the right knee, pointing the right toes to the uh, ceiling. I'm bending forward and reaching the fingertips towards the front. Send the right hip to the back of the mat. I'm not touching down. I want that strength in the right hamstrings. If you want to, please do. Let's reach back up. I've got two more. I'm hinging up, bending right knee, straightening upwards and maybe back bend. Take your time, take plenty of breaths. Half split, choose your option, choose what works. Send the right hip to the back. Think about forehead to right toes. And this is my last one. I've got the back bend, bending right knee, reaching upwards and maybe bending back. One more half split. I'm using strength first to fold and I'm releasing the fingertips onto the mat to give it one more breath here and stretch the right hamstrings. Bend the right knee, runner's lunge, lift the back knee off, come onto the fingertips. Take a big inhale as you look forward, exhale, step the left foot to the front of the mat, feet hip distance. And finally, we are in the front of the mat. Hands on your shins, inhale into halfway lift and exhale, fall to the thighs. Round your back, come into standing position as you bend the knees. Sweep up on the top, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. And straight away, reach up again, circle around, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, high plank, step or hop, feet hip distance. And stop in high plank. Inhale, push the weight forward to prepare for chaturanga. And exhale, go through your chaturanga, drop the knees or keep them off. Push your weight forward, inhale into cobra. Up with dog as you press the feet into the mat. And exhale, down with dog. Would you down with dog for a breath? And we can repeat your sequence on the other side. Lift the left heel behind you, three-legged dog. Take a big inhale. Open up on the top. Pull the heel to your bum as you exhale. And then straight away, inhale, level the hips. Exhale, bring the left knee to your left tricep. Make the contact, shoulders above the wrists or fingertips. Gliding it down and up five times. Glide the left knee down, maybe tap, inhale, keep the contact. Exhale up to the armpit. Glide it down for four. Knee can touch, but not the foot. Exhale, pull it back up. Three more. Inhale, tap if you can. Exhale, lift. Two more, inhale. Exhale, lift. I'm really shaking now. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift it back up. And push into three-legged dog, left heel up. Inhale, lift nice and high. Open and stack the hips again. Bend the knee. And hold with the right elbow straight. Look under your left armpit. Level the hips, inhale, exhale, left knee across to your right tricep. Give it a tap if you can and extend the left leg out, fallen triangle. 
and pop your left hip onto the mat. Let's go through the same sequence. I'm turning the hips square, so the hips belly button are pointing towards the middle of the, in between the ankles. Reach the arms up, inhale, and hold the fold just for an exhale. And then come back up straight away. Left hand goes to the front again. Funky wild thing. Sweep the right arm around. As you lift the hips, give it a slight back bend. Stick your bum onto the mat. Sweep low as you go over to your right leg. Please feel the stretch, careful on your back. Right hand down. Lift the hip, press into the right hand. Circle your left arm around. Bomb down, you've got one more each way. Try and sweep low again, press into the heels and feel that your hamstrings, inner thighs are getting warmer. Feel the shoulders getting warmer. And this is my last one. Once you've done the last one on your right arm, pop your bum down and give it one more stretch in the middle. Just for a breath, we are not holding it because we need those hamstrings in a sec. Sit back up. Turn to the front of your mat, both hands flat. Sweep the right heel up. Give me another three-legged dog. Take a big inhale. Sorry, that's your left heel. I'm so sorry, that's your left heel. Inhale. Exhale, left knee to your nose and step through between the thumbs to release the tension on the, on the wrists. Come on to fingertips, run as lunge. Bend the left knee, make sure your right knee is straight just for a breath. Drop the right knee, trem lining left heel and right knee. I'm keeping right toes tucked on there. Crescent moon, sweep the arms up, inhale, lengthen up first. You might be ready for a back bend as you exhale. First half split on this side, so I'm reaching fingertips to the ground. Sitting back, straightening left knee as far as it goes, left toes up if you can. Send the left hip to the back. Forehead to the left toes. Three more rounds. Bending front knee. Sweeping off for a back bend to feel the stretch in the front of your right hip. And I'm using strength as I'm straightening up, straightening the left leg first and feeling the work in the left hamstrings and I'm reaching forward without tapping onto the mat. But if it's too much, by all means, tap the fingertips. I'm straightening up first, then bending the left knee. Inhale as you reach up, slide back, bend, feel the front of your right hip. Exhale, half split, choose your option. You've got two of them, two more of these. Please don't rush. Send the left hip to the back. I'm mainly feeling the work in the left hamstrings. A bit of shake is going on. <sighs> Last one. Slide back bend, hip flexor stretch. And then half split. I'm starting with strength, sending left hip to the back, but I'm not rushing it. <sighs> and I'm sweeping fingertips onto the mat so I can hold it for one more breath to stretch out the hamstrings. Bend the front knee. Run as lunge, fingertips. Lift the back knee off. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, step your right foot to the front, feet hip distance. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. We've evened out the hamstrings. And let's sit your bum onto the heels. I'm coming onto fingertips. And you either lift the heels and come onto the tippy toes or keep the heels flat. See if you can sit here. Anytime you need to lift your bum up, please feel free. Just going to sit here for a sec. Now find a position where you can release the, your, finger, um, your hands off the mat. So if you need to push your bum up, please do. And just circle into the wrists. So you're releasing the tension. So obviously, if you need to push your bum up, please, please feel free. Now, guys, you have the option here to practice a crane. I already have my knees in my armpits. Or do a forward fold because it's early days. You might not be ready 
for a hand balance. So I'm putting the hands onto the mat and straight away I'm dropping the weight into the triceps. It might be drills, it might be one foot at a time. And if you can, just maybe hold it for a breath. And I'm stepping down feet hip distance. I'm inhaling into another halfway lift. And exhale, fold. And you should be nice and warm and ready to do your workout, your main floor. Bend your knees round your back and come up slowly. Sweep the arms up, inhale. And exhale, hands to heart center. And I'm, I think I'm supposed to be giving you a break so you can have a sip of water. So please do have a little wipe and just give me a thumbs up or thumbs down just to show me that you're okay. Any finger is good. Yeah. Come to the front of your mat, feet hip distance. Sweating. Shoulders back. And sweep the arms up when you're ready in here. Exhale, let's fold. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale. Sweep the fingertips onto the mat. Bend your knees if you need to. Let's start with a standing split. Make sure you've got that balance here on the fingertips. Lift the right heel behind you. I'm leveling the hips to start with. Squeeze the right glute. And when you're ready, fold the thighs towards the left knee. Maybe walk the fingertips close to your left foot. Lift the right heel higher and hold. Feel the stretch in your left hamstring. Make sure you've got the balance wherever your hands need to be. You're going to touch the right knee to the back of your left knee. Bend both knees. Take a big inhale, exhale. Tap the right knee to the back of your left knee. Like a little squat. Inhale, reach the right heel back up and do that three more times. Exhale, tap the right knee to the back of the left knee. Inhale, standing split. So you're folding towards the left shin if you can. Exhale, squat and tap the right knee to the back of the left knee. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, tap. And a supported warrior three. I'm reaching up into standing split but I'm walking the fingertips a little bit to the front of the mat. I'm flexing the right foot and leveling the right heel. So I've got a straight line between the head, the hip and the right heel. Step into a warrior two, bend the left knee, step the right foot all the way to the back of the mat, right heel flat. Cart with the arms up and find a T-shape looking over your left fingertips and settle into your warrior two. Left knees above the left ankle, so lengthen the stance if you need to. Right toes are pointing out to the right side of the mat. Left knees pointing to the front. Just gonna turn around, you stay there. Interlace the fingers. Don't take it into a back bend. Just feel that you're stretching the front of your shoulders. Bring your left hand over onto the top of your right hip. You pull it over and use your right heel of your hand to press the left hand into your lower back. Drop your right ear to the right shoulder. It's like a bind with warrior three, but you're kind of going the other way around. Let's go into a wide-legged forward fold. I'm releasing the hands, but I'm keeping the fingertips together, straightening left knee. Sorry, I'm still turning my back on you, turning the feet parallel. Option one, release the hands completely and fold forward. Option two, I'm keeping hands together, bending knees, folding from the hips, dropping head and shoulders, and you might be able to start stretching your shoulders as you lift the fingers off the hips and maybe dropping little fingers to the mat. Choose an option, choose something where you feel safe, you feel the inner thigh stretching and maybe your shoulders. Mm -hmm. 
Release the hands onto the mat. One more little fold. And sit onto your right heel into a side lunge. So you're going to the back of the mat. You might need to move your feet around slightly and start lowering your tailbone towards the mat. Find the lowest position straight away or take your time and stay higher. Keep the right elbow on the inside of the right knee. For now, just stretch. Later, we can use a bit of power. Just feel the inner thighs and groin opening. Whatever option you have, you have a couple more breaths here. So no rush. Walking back through a wide-legged forward fold, lifting the bum, folding in the middle, bend your knees, flatten your back and sweep the arms up into a five-pointed start. Take a big inhale, turn back into warrior two where you came from, turn the left toes to the front, bend the left knee and open your arms into a T. Reverse the warrior, flip the left palm, take a big inhale as you reach up. Exhale, easy twist. Sweep the arms around. Right fingertips are coming to the mat. Left fingertips reaching up. Turn the hips over into a high lunge and hold the easy twist. Beautiful. Feel that lovely twist in the back. Reach the, reach the left bicep to your ear. So you're reaching left fingertips towards the front of the mat. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, sweep the left hand onto the mat and sweep the left heel up into a three-legged dog. Take a big inhale here. As you exhale, touch the left knee to your right bicep across, sorry, right tricep across. And we turn into a fallen triangle again, but this time I'm not popping the foot onto the mat. Turn the right heel flat. Reach the right arm up. You can always drop the left knee onto the mat or maybe point the left knee out to the side and see if you can extend your left knee and point the left nose out to the side. If it's too much, pop the foot down and lift the hip higher. Hold it for one more breath and the great news is we've got one more side plank. Bend the left knee, bring the right hand onto the mat, touch the left knee to your nose, then turn into a side plank on your right hand. So turn your right heel flat. Stack the left foot on top of the right. Lift the left arm up. Again, if you need to bend the right knee and pop it onto the mat, feel free. More option, everyone's favorite. Drop the right hip onto the mat and tap the fingertips onto the mat behind you. Just the ones. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift back up. Hold. Come into high plank, left hand down, feet hip distance. We're gonna stay on our front. Inhale, push your weight forward and exhale, sink onto your front. Drop the knees if you feel you need to. Your shoulders are probably naked. Stay on your front. Press the feet into the mat. Draw your shoulder blades away from the ears. Reach the arms to the back. Palms down. Let's start out your locust. Lift the shoulders. Make sure the back of your neck is long. Draw belly button away from the mat. Clench your bum cheeks, straighten your knees and lift the legs. If there is any back pain, press the feet into the mat. See if you can touch your heels together. If it gives you back pain, widen the feet, even wider than your hips. Lift your shoulders slightly higher one more time. Inhale. And exhale, bring everything onto the mat. Take a breath and think about ending up in your downward dog. You can do a full press up as long as you make sure you tuck your pelvis and your stomach is engaged. Hands under your shoulders. I'm talking feet. I'm talking pelvis. Push up, inhale. Exhale, downward dog and hold. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, make your way to the front. Step, hop, float, feet hip distance. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Let's start the other side straight away. Fingertips on the mat for a standing split. 
Lift the left heel behind you. I'm flattening the back first, squeezing left glute, bending right knee slightly. Once I've lifted the left heel, I start folding my chest towards the thigh. Maybe bring the fingertips closer to your right foot and hold the stretch. Feel the strength in the right hamstrings. Feel the strength in the left glute. Keep dropping the head to increase mobility in the right hamstrings. Let's do the four squats. Take a big inhale. Exhale, tap the left knee as you bend it behind your right knee. Bend the right knee so you're squatting slightly. Inhale, reach back up. It's a proper standing split, so you're dropping the head. You're using the left glute to lift the left leg. Exhale, squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squat. And then one more time, really taking your time to reach that left knee up, left foot up. To reach the left knee behind your right knee to squat. Reach back up into standing split one last time. And supported warrior three, bringing fingertips towards the front. Flattening the back, lowering the left heel, flexing left foot to the mat. And finding the straight line between the crown of your head and the left heel. Hold for one more breath. Step into warrior two, bend the right knee. Step the left foot to the back of the mat, left heel flat, cartwheel the arms up. And find a T-shape, lengthening stance for me because I want the right knee above the right ankle, turning left toes out to the side. <sighs> start interlacing the fingers behind you to start opening the front of your shoulders without a back bend if you can. And bring the back of your left hand onto your right hip. No, I'm lying. Back of your right hand onto your left hip. Press it against the left hip and drop the left ear to the left shoulder. And it should be a nice stretch on the left side or uh, right side of your neck. Wide legged forward fold. I'm releasing the hands onto the hips, back of my hips. Straightening right knee, turning the feet parallel. You can release the hands if you want. But if you're folding with the hands together, make sure you bend the knees and you fold with a fairly straight back. Dive your head, shoulders towards the mat. See if you can lift the hands off the hips, either point the knuckles up to the sky or drop your head even lower and think about dropping your little fingers towards the mat. Really feel that opening in the shoulders without any back pain. Release the hands onto the mat. And sit onto the left heel into a side lunge. So you're coming to the back of the mat, turning the left toes out. Take your time to stretch out. Left elbow is on the inside of the left knee. Flattening your back at some point just to feel that the back muscles are still there. They are still working. Take one more breath, just to make sure you're finishing off your options, whatever you were doing on the other side. And wide legged forward fold, pushing the bum up. One more fold in the middle if you want. And let's, let's bend the knees, flatten the back. Sweep the arms up into five-pointed star. Inhale, turn to the front, bend the right knee, warrior two. Exhale, lengthen the stance if you need to. Be safe on the right knee. Flip the right palm and reverse the warrior. Take a big inhale. Exhale, easy twist. Cartwheel the hands down, left hand lands on the mat. Right arm up, turn the hips. Bend the right knee and keep the left knee straight. Stack the hips. Long neck. Right bicep to the ear on an inhale. Exhale, sweep the right hand onto the mat and sweep the right heel up into a three-legged dog. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, right knee across to your left elbow. 
give it a tap if you can and turn into a fallen triangle but if you can hover the right foot left heel flat left arm up i'm pointing the right knee towards the side of the mat stacking shoulders see if you can straighten your right knee and point the right toes out to the left side of the mat lift the hips higher almost there i promise and then the plank on the other side i'm shaking left hand down i'm pushing the right foot to the back and i'm turning out to the outside of the left foot i'm stacking right foot on top of the left right arm up to lift into another side plank and everyone's favorite if you've got one in you drop the left hip touch the fingertips onto the mat behind you if you can inhale and exhale push back up Hold for one more breath. Turn into high plank. We are going to end up on your front. If you want to leave our chaturanga, feel free. Inhale, push your weight forward. Exhale, sink through. Locust. So stay in your front. Roll the shoulders back. Now, before I lift into it, again, I'm interlacing the fingers above my hips. And I'm making a Kali Mudra if you can. Touch the heels of your hands together, straight elbows. It might not be there, just try your best. Lift the shoulders and point the first two fingers towards your heels. Once you feel the stretch in the front of your shoulders, press the pubic bone into the mat and clench your bum cheeks. See if you can lift your legs without any back pain. I'm sorry, I'm shouting. I'm excited and I'm in pain. See if you can lift your hands off the hips. See if you can touch your heels together without any back pain and hold it for five hold it for four three two and one release it onto the mat oh release the arms as well just take a breath here push the hips side to side if it feels nice to loosen your back Think about it but do you want to do a press up or just meet me in downward or getting there maybe going through child's pose hands under the shoulders engaging core muscles by tucking pelvis tucking toes if you're doing that inhale push up and exhale downward dog. hold it's 6 15 now i'm going to go through the same flow a lot quicker leaving out bits and pieces and putting in one more thing take one more breath Inhale, bend the knees and look to the front. Exhale, step or jump the feet to the front. Feet hip distance. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Straight away, standing split, fingertips on the mat. Lifting right heel up and stretch your, your chest towards your left thigh. You've got one squat here. Right knee touches to the back of your left knee. Tap, bend the left knee push back up standing split take a big inhale and step into a warrior two straight away leaving out bits bend the left knee step the right foot to the back of the mat right heel flat cartwheel the arms around and let's reverse the warrior left fingertips to the sky take a big inhale here we are going to sit onto the right heel into a side lunge straight away so hands to hot actually no sorry i'm lying start sitting over to the right heel side lunge i'm sorry i'm turning my back on you there is a reason for it and i'm reaching fingertips towards the sky now see if you can keep the biceps by the ears while you're sitting onto the right heel i'm keeping left knee straight so now i'm using strength but i'm still feeling the hamstring stretching now if all goes well you might be able to see me but i'll tell you quickly i'm going to do a twisted lunge towards the back of the mat so if you're not sure just make sure you can see me i'm bringing the hands to heart center i'm turning towards my right leg leveling the hips turning the right knee to the front and i'm pressing the left elbow into the right knee and i'm twisting the lunge looking over the right elbow and then from here you will be familiar with the rest hold it for one more breath feel the twist in the back you're going to go back into a warrior two onto your left foot 
So I'm turning back the same way. You can sweep the arms lower as you transfer the weight back onto the left foot. Bend the left knee and look over your left fingertips. Find a T-shape and you're back where you came from. Reverse the warrior again. Left fingertips to the sky. Take a big inhale. Exhale, easy twist. Cartwheel the right hand onto the mat. Left arm up. Stack the shoulders, bend the left knee. Left bicep to the ear. Inhale, exhale, sweep the left hand onto the mat. And left heel up into three-legged dog. Take a big inhale here. As you exhale, bring the left knee across to your right tricep. Give it a tap and I'm hovering the fallen triangle. Right heel flat, right arm up. I'm extending the left knee. Now, I give you the option here if you can reach the back of your left shin, the back of your, uh, your left calf with your right hand. See if you can pull the left foot towards the front of the mat to stretch out your hamstrings, inner thighs. If it's not quite there, don't worry about it. Back into that fallen triangle, releasing right arm up. And I've got one more plank position I'm shaking. Right hand down, push the left foot to the back, turn onto the outside edge of your right foot. Left arm up, and I've got one hip drop. Dropping right hip in here. Touch the fingertips behind you on the mat if you can. Exhale, reach back. Turn into high plank, inhale, and we go through a chaturanga meeting in downward dog. Sink through as you exhale. Inhale, cobra upward dog. And exhale, find the with dog. Take one more breath. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, step or jump the feet, hip distance. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And we're ready, go for, ready to go for the other side. Fingertips on the mat, lift the left heel. Standing split. Take your time to fold the thigh, to uh, fold the chest towards the thigh. One squat, bring the left knee behind the right knee. Bend the right knee as well to squat it. Push back up into standing split. Take a big inhale and step into warrior two. Left foot lands in the back of the mat. Cart with the arms up into a T-shape. And let's reverse it straight away. Right fingertips to the sky. Take a big inhale into that side bend. Exhale, hold and think. Side lunge onto the left heel, pointing the fingertips up to the sky if you can. Start shifting the weight over. I'm touching fingertips together, turn the feet. See how far you can sit. Maybe keeping the biceps by the ears. Just a strength here. Right knee straight, I'm shaking. And you've got a twisted lunge, so you turn to the back of the mat. Bring the hands to heart center, turn towards the left knee. Turn the hips over. Turn all the way over to your left and press the right elbow into the left knee. Twist, look over your left elbow and hold. Coming back into warrior two onto the right heel. So slowly, slowly and carefully on the knees, sweep over. Turn the right foot to the front. Bring the arms into a T. Look over your right fingertips, right knees bent. And reverse the warrior. Flip the right palm again, take a big inhale. Exhale, easy twist. Sweep the left hand onto the mat. Right fingertips pointing up, level the hips. Right biceps to the ear, inhale. Exhale, sweep the right hand onto the mat. Right heel up into a three-legged dog. Take a big inhale. Exhale, right knee across to the left elbow. I'm hovering the fallen triangle. Left heel flat, left arm up. See if you can straighten the right knee. See if you can touch and grab the back of your right heel. And pull the right foot towards the front of the mat. Back into a fallen triangle, hovering the right foot, left arm up. And you've got one more plank. Thank goodness, left hand down. 
push the right foot back. Turn onto your left hand. Stack the right foot, right arm up. One more drop of the hips. Inhale, drop. Maybe touch the fingertips behind you. Exhale, lift. Hold. It gives me a strong piece of cake to hold it. Turn into a high. Inhale, last chaturanga if you want. Exhale. Inhale, cobra off with dog. And exhale, down with dog. Hold your down with dog. Breathe. Bum up high. Drop the chest through. Pigeon. You can lift the right heel behind you into three legged dog or just bring the right shin behind the wrists. If you want to glute stretch on your back, good time to do that. Laying the shin behind your wrist. Theoretically, your right knee's in a right angle. I can't do that. I'm shifting the left heel to the back and find that position where you can feel the, your, your right bum cheek stretching. You can untuck the left toes, come onto the fingertips so that you can lift the chest. Popping a yoga block under your right bum cheek is always helpful. And make sure your right knee is not hurting. Take one more inhale to make sure that you're leveling the hip bones. And then fold forward, maybe walk the hands forward. Maybe drop your forehead onto the mat or drop your forehead on another yoga block. Make sure you can feel your right glute stretching. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Option to stay here, or if you want to have um, hip flexor stretch on the left side and a quad stretch, and you promise me you're careful on the left knee, sit back up. Now you have the option for bending ones to reach the left arm back and keep the hip square as you bend the left knee and pull the heel to your bum. If that's too much, I can see that. Then roll onto your right bum cheek, roll onto your right hand behind you, and see if you can bring the left heel onto your bum. And that's good enough for me. If you turn the hips square, then you might feel more. Make sure again, the right knee is not hurting. And it's not your lower back you're feeling. It's the front of your left thigh. It's the front of your left hip. If you can bring the left, um, the foot into the crook of your left arm, very careful with your back. Please try, lift the chest. The more you lift the chest, the more you're lengthening that line between your left shoulder and hip and thigh and knee and foot. But if it hurts your knee, it's not worth it. And then very slowly releasing out of the stretch. I'm trying not to ping the left foot back. Releasing the stretch. Going through a downward dog, so I've got the hands flat, rounding the back before stepping the right foot to the back. It might be nice to pedal it out. If you draw the sit in a child's pose, that's good too. And we just do the pigeon on the other side. When you're ready, lift the left heel behind you and inhale. Exhale, bring the left shin behind the wrists. Place that chin on the mat so that your knee is not hurting. I'm pushing the right foot to the back. Again, if you can put your left knee in a 90 degree angle, brilliant. I can do that. But make sure you're not hurting your knee and hips. Come onto fingertips. Block under your left bum cheek is good. Or maybe place the left bum cheek onto the mat and level the hip bones. And if and when you're ready, walk the hands forward to fold and see how far you want to take it. It might be just the elbows, it might be the head on the mat, it might be a head on the yoga block. Long breaths to stretch your left glute.
can stay here or start sitting up with me if you want to do the extra, extra quad stretch. You know what to do if you've got a bit more of a flexible knee. Hip flex the right arm back or if you're coming with me, I'm putting the left hand out to the left side of the mat, sitting onto my left bum cheek and I'm reaching the right arm towards the right heel. And that's enough for me as long as you feel your quad stretching. If you manage to reach back and your hips are square, see if you can bring your right toes into your crook of your arm on the right side and lift the chest. Keep dropping the hip if you can and avoid any back pain. Think about pushing your pubic bone towards the mat and towards the front of the mat. That should give you more stretch in the front of your right thigh and less pain in your back. Releasing out of the quad stretch, hip flexor stretch. Going through um, downward dog again, but we're gonna meet on your back. So you don't have to come back here, around your back before you push the left leg to the back. Into another V stretch, into another downward dog and hold. And then let's go, to, we'll go on to our backs. You can drop the knees or you can cross the ankles behind the wrists. I quite like that. You just need to be very careful and on the knees as you roll over the ankles and make your way onto your back. You can go slow if you want to go through a bit of tummy work. <laughs> your tummy has worked enough today, I think. And then once you're there, just stretch out for a sec. <sighs> Let's do a couple of spinal twists. I've got right knee coming into the chest. Hips are coming slightly to the right and I'm bringing the right knee in and across to the left. Keep right shoulder blades flat, look, your, look over your right shoulder and take a few deep breaths to relax the muscles around your hips and your glutes. Coming back through center slowly and changing sides, right knee long, left foot flat behind my bum and sending the hips to the left if it feels nice, left knee into the chest and across to the right, looking over your left shoulder, keeping left shoulder blade flat, a bit of help from the right hand on the top of the left knee is always good, close your eyes. And long inhales through the nose, long exhales through the nose. Bring your left arm over to your right. Bend your right knee and pull it into your chest. Stay on your right side. When you're ready, slowly sit up. You've got just a tiny, tiny bit more to do. Forward, forward with the legs straight in front of you. Grabbing a, a strap now is good or a towel. Heels together, I'm flexing the feet. I'm moving the flesh out of the way. Lengthening the spine by reaching the arms to the sky. Inhale. And exhale this time, we're going to hold that stretch, fall towards the thighs and grab the back of your legs somewhere, maybe your feet, use your strap, your skipping rope, your towel. I'm going to inhale into a flatter back one more time and exhale, find the stretch without any back pain.
start sitting back up slowly, taking your time. I'm going to put the hands behind me and just lean onto the hands to open the front of my body. Try not to lift your bum this time because you just used your, uh, stretched those hamstrings. You don't want to use them too much. And then let's finish it with the neck stretches, getting your legs in a comfy position and lifting your spine long. Roll the shoulders away from the ears once you're there. And drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Hold. Back to center. Drop the left ear to the left shoulder and hold. Roll your chin to your chest and carry on circling your head one way. Take a nice big circle. Change direction. Taking your time. Once you're back to center, lift your gaze. Stretch up, take a big inhale just to finish it off. Bring the palms together. Exhale, bring them down to heart center. Bow your head. Thank you, everyone. Namaste.